What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be using a master tier team that features Groudon, Solgaleo, obviously Venusaur with the Groudon, and then we got a Suicune to sprinkle a little bit of off meta in there. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Take a second of you guys' time just to click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, that goes for like all content creators you guys watch. If you guys are watching the content creator for a little bit, make sure you subscribe to the channel because it really goes a long way towards that content creator. But uh, before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Clover Bells for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. Clover Bells, shout out to you. I will be linking all of his socials and his channel down in the description below. Definitely go check him out. But that leads me to say, if you guys want to leave me rental teams, go to my Twitter. Link is down in the description below. Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. Tweet at me. DM me your guys' rental codes. I would love to get my hands on them and potentially use them for a video. So, like I said, just tweet at me at Twitter. Send me the rental code. And I'll check it out and probably use it for a video. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Solgaleo. Full metal body alongside with the weakest policy. And then he's probably rocking the best moveset that you can rock for any Solgaleo. You got Sun Seal Strike. You got EQ, Trick Room, and Protect. You really Really only need that steel and that ground move to rock out with that and then you got trick room in case you want to just uh you know take speed control or count up trick room on your own terms second pokemon is our second restricted it's going to be ground on with that drought and the citrus berry normal moves up for him with the precise blades towards dance rock slide and protect Third Pokemon is Venusaur over here, perfectly paired up with Groudon. Groudon's best buddy over here with Chlorophyll, Life Orb, and then Leaf Storm, Earth Power, Weather Ball, and Sleep Powder. So most of these moves and most of these Pokemon are heavy meta Pokemon because this team right here is used for pushing high tier in the Master Tier. So if you guys are looking for a solid team to do really well in ranked battles, this team is where it's at. This team is definitely super, super powerful. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Thunders over here. Not the normal Thunders with the Salt Vest and the uh, Defiant. It's the one's a nice little Prankster and Focus Ash one. We got Thunderbolt for a Lonesome Stab move. We got Eerie Impulse for special attack drops. We also got Leer for defense drops and Scary Face for speed drops. So this Thunders can really drop a bunch of different stats. So I really do like this Pokemon. I cannot wait to showcase it in the battle. Bottom left hand corner is our boy Incineroar. Everything is pretty straight up with this guy. It's the Intimidate, Shukaberry, and then the best move set for him, Flare Blitz, Fake Out, Party Shot, and so, really do like that Pokemon. It's just kind of getting annoying at this point. The, the amount of usage is getting. But it's just so good. Like, why why wouldn't we stop using him? He's just too broken. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Suicune. This is like our little off-meta Pokemon. You don't really see Suicune too often, but it's definitely still very, very powerful. We got Inner Focus alongside with Leftovers, and then we're rocking Ice Beam, Tailwind for Speed Control, Snarl for Special Attack Drops, and then we got Bulldoze for Speed Control, and to actually proc his Solgaleo's weakness policy. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, mental code is chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this heavy meta. So Galio, Groudon, and Sweet King. First battle coming at you guys, and we're rolling up against two restricted mods that you don't get to see too often, a Lunala and Regiram team. That sounds awesome. It sounds definitely off meta. He also has the Whimscott, Regilecki, Kartana, and Gastron, and then he has these four meta Pokemon. So that's a little weird. He has two off meta restricted, and then four off meta non-restricted. Usually the restricted mods will be your meta Pokemon, and then it would and then the other Pokemon would be off meta. But yeah, this seems pretty cool. Hopefully we grab ourselves a win and raw strong here. But I could lead the Solgaleo. I could lead the Sweeken combo. That is actually not too bad here. He really isn't due to full metal body. And is this a shiny? That thing's gorgeous. That is a gorgeous little Pokemon. Or I could just go Groudon and Venusaur, which is kind of looking really good. Not even gonna lie, it's looking pretty solid. I could definitely lead that, but then he can go Tailwind, he can kind of grant some speed control, he can go out from there. I could go Incineroar. And maybe like. Should I go here? Who should I go here? See the Groudon Venusaur or Solgaleo Suicune. I'm kinda leaning towards the Solgaleo Suicune. I'm kinda leaning towards that. I do dig it. I definitely do dig it. So I'm gonna lead both of them. I'm gonna bring Grout Groudon and Venusaur in the back end. And we're gonna roll from here. Let's we'll grab ourselves our first win for today's video. Yo, I got a big question of the day because your boy has been confused. Question of the day is what mobile games do you guys enjoy playing? Because I've been looking for a mobile game to play and start grinding, but I legit cannot find one. I downloaded like a bunch of different games, could not get into any of them. So if you guys have any good suggestions, leave them down in the comment section down below. Because again, I need myself a nice little mobile. Mobile games are good for past time when you're out and about. So I just feel like I need. Them. I feel like I need a good one to start grinding again. But uh, this guy's gonna end up leading Reg Ram alongside with Whimsy Whims. And I can definitely see a Dynamax coming out here. Nice lovely little Dynamax, and I could Dynamax on my own, or I could pop a Trick Room. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, what do I want to do? If I can get off this Max Quake here, it could be big. I'm going to go for it. I think I'm just going to Bulldoze at the same time, just to start slowing down people. So, Bulldoze across. We're going to Dynamax or Solgaleo. Rest Ram is definitely looking a little scary, but uh, I think we should. 
I think we should be fine. So he's gonna Dynamax. He is faster than me, and I think a Tailwind's just gonna poke here. Unless he wants to Encore me, or not Encore, Taunt me. Which is definitely a possibility. I'm kind of hoping he taunts me. Taunts my Suicune. Because most Suicunes are set up just to be like, you know, support little Pokemon. So a Taunt would be a bad play by him, but we are not going into... Oh, uh, we're going into attacking moves, so that could be good. So we're gonna end up going for this lovely little Dynamax. Then we're gonna get ripped from here. Because I think Solgaleo should be able to eat up whatever Restaurant has. Right? I think it should. I think we should be chilling. Let's see what he does. Let's see this dude's love a little bit. So, Galileo so is going to get the Dynamax 478 HP. That is one bulky line. One bulky line. So, he's not going to go for the Tailwind. He's going to go straight for the Flare. That's totally fine. We should be able to eat that up. And he procs Policy on our own. But Bulldoze is fine because we are going to slow down just a little bit. That's going to be nice for us. That's going to be nice for us. So, we can go beforehand. Because we cannot drop our speed stats. This could be good for us. Let's see how this one plays out here. He's going to show that he is... Oh, we get to go Bulldoze first. That's beautiful. So, so clearly should go next. But he does show that he's Life Orb. We're going to be able to pop this uh, Max Quake off, which is going to be huge. And then Wimscott's going to go, but I wonder what Wimscott is going for. Wimscott's kind of scaring me. He's kind of scaring me. Quake's going to fly here. We're going to get a special defense boost. But I think we should be able to KO this thing. With the Sweet Spots box, right? Oh, my God. What is that? What is that? Seriously, what is that? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Put this thing on one. This thing's gonna end up going for a trick room. And I don't know if that's good or not. I do not know if that's good or not. <laughs> I really don't. But uh, we're gonna go for a steel spike here and I'm just gonna take out Regiram. Right? This should be able to take out Regiram. Ice Beam? Yeah. We're gonna go for that. God dang trick room doing me dirty. After we go for a bulldoze. So he does pop a trick room. Maybe he thought I was going for a tailwind. Thank God I didn't go for tailwind. So let's see how this one plays. He's gonna be able to drop another flare. He's gonna take on my Sokalia. So Sokalia is gonna go down here and Resurrect. Okay. I'm not, I'm not too I'm not too upset about that. That's not a bad turn. He already has the heat set up. I mean we can go growl on at this point because you know Chlorophyll Venusaur is not. In the what's called? In the trick room. I think we should be fine, but Resurrect goes down to life orb damage and now our ice beam slides over to Wimps. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be some nice lovely chip damage off this Pokemon. Then a nice little ice beam and look at that. Big old damage. Give me the freeze. Imagine we get the freeze and he's gonna reverse trick room. Now he reverse trick room. And now I'm gonna bring out Chlorophyll Venusaur. You wanna reverse trick room like that? Now I'm bringing out Venusaur. Run it. Run it up. Let's do it. Let's play this game. I wanna play it all day. I wanna play it all day. I wanna play it all day. So he's probably gonna go for a tailwind here. Definitely see it happening. But I wonder what his next Pokemon he's gonna bring out here. Could be Lunala. Could definitely be Lunala. And it is gonna be Lunala. Lunala's kinda scary. I don't like Lunala. <laughs> I do not like Lunala, but at this point, um, I could put it to sleep and then go for a a uh, Tailwind. Just to match his Tailwind. Kind of lean towards him. That's exactly what I'm going to go for. I'm going to try to put that lovely little Pokemon to sleep. Tailwind's going to come out from Wimscott. Lunala's going to go next. And Lunala, what are you going for? Moonguy Beam or something? Well, Venusaur outspeeds. Venusaur, I love you. Venusaur with the speed. Venusaur with the speed. That's huge. That's big time. It's big time. So Lunala is fast asleep. We know it's special attacking. We're probably going for like a Meteor Beam or something. And now we get Tailwind. And now I'm going to take out Whimsicott with my Venusaur and then just start Snarl dropping. 100% my play. Weather Ball coming in hot. Weather Ball's reply. Weather Ball's reply. Weather Ball coming in hot. Turns into fire. And then we just Snarl and start dropping special attack on Lunala. Solid, solid, yo. Venusaur coming in there. Just doing some work. And you're going to Encore me. How dare you? Dare you, yo. Encore me. You little booger. You little booger. Little booger now. Actually, I'm just gonna swap next turn. Bring out my Groudon. Bring out my lovely Groudon. Get to start getting these special attack drops. Hopefully, this Lunala doesn't wake up. Gonna be asleep this next turn. Please be asleep this turn. Just so I can keep snarling you. Cool. There's that. And we're going to swap into my, uh. My ground. Actually, how many turns is left in all weather? That's the real question. One. I might as well wait this out. I don't mind going for another sleep powder here. Even though it doesn't affect him. Actually, let's go. I won't do anything. I guess we'll just send it at Lunala just in case. Maybe he'll protect. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we're just going to do this. We're just going to do this. Because I want to, instead of swapping out Venusaur, I want to wait for my uh, the sun to end. Because if I swapped them into what's called right here. If I swapped them into Groudon here, then we would uh, lose the Drought. So the Drought's going to end, and then we can bring out Groudon instead of the end. So Snarl's going to fly through here, and we're chipping up some damage. We're chipping up some damage onto that Lunala. We love it. But now I gotta I gotta get rid of Wooden Scott next turn. Just so he can't swap that Lunala. 
would be good. Moonblast is going to fly here. Probably go after Suicune, right? Or he goes after my lovely Venusaur. Venusaur says, yo, that is a tasty snack. That is such a tasty snack. Special attack's going to drop. Now I'm going to swap the Venusaur. I'm going to say, hey, yo, Venusaur, get on out of here. So let's swap the Venusaur. Did a Groudon. And then go into a... Uh, is it all again? Or do I... I think I take out the one that I Just so the Lunala cannot swap while it's minus two. Hopefully it doesn't swap this turn. We can just take out one Scott. Because that could be a huge turn for us. That could be a huge turn for us having this Lunala minus two. And not being able to swap out. Let's see. We're going to drop the Venusaur. We're going to say, Ayo, hey, get back here, boy. Get back here, Venusaur. And we're going to bring out the Groudon. The Groudon comes in hot. We love it. We set the drop probably for the rest of the battle. Five more turns. It's looking solid. It's definitely looking solid. Gonna end up withdrawing Whimsicott. So Whimsicott gets to withdraw here. And Regilecki's gonna come through here. That's not bad. That's not a bad Pokemon to have. Lunala's gonna wake up here. And Lunala's gonna protect. Okay, yo. I'm with that. I'm with that turn. I'm with that turn. So now I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna Snarl and drop Blades, right? Why am I play? Snarl and drop Blades. Give me the Freeze, yo. Give me the Freeze. Tailwind's going for both sides. I could set it back up. But I'm just gonna throw Blades. Blades is definitely my play. Blades into a Snarl. Looking real good. Or I can just Tailwind up. Hmm. Do I tailwind up? That one could be nice. I might as well tailwind at this time. Because he might swap the Lunala back into the uh, the Whimsicott. Just get his uh, stats back. But he's just going to protect. That's fine. I'll set up a tailwind. We'll start taking a little bit of speed here. The tailwind's going to come out here. Let's grant some speed. Let's get after this Lunala. And Lunala is not flying. And it does not have levitate. Right? Is it psychic and ghost? I don't believe it's flying. It should be able to hit. Yeah. Cool. It looks like a flying Pokemon because it's just giant wings, but it's not. Now he's minus two. He pops a Trick Room. So great call by him to actually pop a Trick Room. What a call. What a call by him. So he pops a Trick Room. I'm just going to keep running these blades. And then I'm just going to run a straight Ice Beam. Or do I Snarl? I'm going to make sure this is not. I'm just going to Snarl here. Or not Snarl. Ice Beam. Straight across. Let's get after this. He's going to withdraw Lunala. That's totally fine. Lunala. And he's going to go into Whimsicott. So I'm just going to get such a good spot. Sitting in such a good spot, especially with Venusaur in the back end. Blade's gonna fly through it. We're still slower than Reg Lecky, even in the tailwind. That is hilarious. So we pick up the easy double kill. That's pretty much GG. So this guy was just trying to figure out a way to potentially win this battle by swapping in and out, popping trick rooms and all that. But it, it, we had it in the bag from there. But he's gonna bring out Lunala. He probably just canceled the battle, and we go 1 and 0 for today's video. What a start, yo. Clover Bell's sending me a banger of a team. I love it, Clover Bells. Like I said, this team is definitely it's like heavy meta. It's like made to like push high rank. So you want to push high ranks when a team like this. This team has great Pokemon. Really easy to learn, too. It just rocks out. But uh, we're going to go for a Rock Side because you know it has higher accuracy. And then we're just going to Ice Beam. But my opponent's definitely cancel the battle, right? Yep, cancel the battle. We start off 1 0. Yo, we're going up against a Gengar team in battle number two. That is dope. I'm loving the teams we have been battling in today's video Gengar, Solgaleo, and Kyogre team with Alcreme, Snorlax, and Incineroar. So, pretty cool team. Kind of scared of that Alcreme. Alcreme is definitely scary, but we got to bring Grata in the back end and try to win this weather war, right? It's a big fact. We could go Solgaleo Suicune again. That is not looking too shabby. So, Galio Suicune, kind of dig it. I kind of do dig it. And Suicune's speed is rather high, right? It's like 180, right? One oh, wow. Never mind. Never mind. Why do I think it was so high? I think I have no EVs and speed hold up. Let me see. No, not really. It's like half. Okay, so it should be higher than that, but still, 180, that was bad. That was a bad call, Jeans. <laughs> that was a bad call. But I could go Suicune, I could go Solgaleo, which isn't too shabby here. Because then we have Inner Focus, and we can block that fake out, and Solgaleo is not affected by the Intimidate. And then we just go Groudon, and then we just go Venusaur again. It works so well. I said we go same squad. I said we roll out with the same squad. I really do dig it. I really do dig the same squad. It just works too perfectly up against all these Pokemon. It just works too well. But one thing we got to win is that Weather War. The Weather War has to be ours. I kind of think I should have led the Venusaur, but again, like, I'm, I'm more of a person, like, mm, like, just try to win the Weather War, like, not worry about Venusaur getting KOs, like, if you, I feel like if you win the Weather War, you win the game, usually. So if he leads Groudon, we're just gonna have to hard swap, or not Groudon, Kyogre. But he's gonna end up leading Solgaleo alongside Gengar. So I think he's having, like, the same, the same thought process as us. I think he's thinking the same way. I think he is thinking the same exact way. So, at this point, mm, I'm just gonna Bulldoze. Right, Bulldoze, and I think I'm just going to Max Steel Psych. Just for the fact that we get a nice little defensive boost here, it can really do us good. So, we'll Bulldoze. We'll kind of get after the battle that way. And we'll roll from there. We shall roll from there. I am kind of scared of that Gengar. Gengar can do some big damage on this one. Dark moves? He's not dark. He's Ghost and Poison. And Ghost could actually do some damage to us, too. 
gotta watch out for him. You gotta watch out for him, but I feel like he's uh he's kind of just there for support with the Solgalia. So I'm hoping we can kind of you know just body it down with this bulldoze, take off his focus sash because most of the time they do rock focus sash, and then get a steel spike, pick up the KO, and get a defense boost at the same time, just so we can eat up some shots from Solgalia. Did we Dynamax? Is he gonna Dynamax? He goes for Hypnosis, and we dodge it. That's a that's a beautiful turn for us. We just start off on the biggest strong note ever. The biggest strong note ever there. Dodging a Hypnosis. Thank God we dodged it. And that isn't really like good RNG for us because Hypnosis, I think it's like a 60% accuracy. That's really low. That's really low. We proc policy for him as well. Um, did we go next? Good. Cool. We go next. So Seal Spike's gonna come out here. We are gonna grant it defensive boost. And we're gonna take out Gengar at the same time. Yes, sir. Run it up. Run it up. We get that defense boost. Now we just need to set up a nice LP tailwind. But Solgaleo is weak as policy proc, and I feel like he's going to rip up some damage, right? What's he gonna go for? He's going for oh a trick room. Okay. That ain't too bad. That allows me not to actually go into a what's it called? A tailwind. So good thing we didn't go into it. Good thing we didn't go into a tailwind. Because our speed's not like ridiculously high. Trick room is actually gonna benefit us a little bit. But it depends who he goes out into. He's gonna go out into Alcreme. Alcreme's gonna come out here now. He's gonna start rolling with that Pokemon. So I could, could go for another defense boost. Let's take out Alcreme, which I might do. Alcreme and then just Ice Beam, maybe get a freeze? Probably your best bet, right? <laughs> Probably your best bet is to look for a freeze here. Because Alcreme is going to go down to the Steel Spike. Oh, unless it's Babiri Berry. It definitely is Babiri Berry. Definitely is Babiri Berry. I should have thought of that. I should have thought of that. Should have thought of that. Definitely Babiri Berry. Most Alcremes are Babiri Berry. Babiri Berry. That's so funny. It's such a funny rule. <laughs> He's gonna hit up Dynamax and Solgaleo with that weak spouse proc. And luckily we are plus one on defense board, so I can help us soak up a little bit. And we're about to go plus two, which is gonna be lovely for us. So he's gonna decorate, and that's scary. We don't like to decorate here. We do not like to decorate. He goes into that and he's going to drop a max quick into my Solgaleo. And I think Solgaleo should say, yo, that's tasty snack, right? Eat up, Sol. Beautiful. So we eat it up. Thank you. And we're going to start chipping up some damage. Chipping up some damage. Let's get after it. Maybe we get this freeze. This freeze could be gorgeous. We go for a steel spike. And no, but Beery Berry. We love it. We're going to say bye-bye to Alcreme. Because he's Sash. And he's not Sash. So that's a great turn for us. That's a great turn for us. And what I think now is he's forced to actually throw out... Uh, what's it called? I think he's forced to throw out Kyogre. Right? And give me this freeze, though. This is what we're looking for. Nice little not very effective freeze. Give it to me. Give it to me. Nah, could you imagine? I think he has Kyogre, so I think he's going to be forced to throw out Kyogre, and we can win the Weather War, right? He's going to throw out Snorlax. If Snorlax comes in here, I think I just have to, you know, pop a max guard, try to waste out a turn, and go into a Ice Beam. I do not know. We're going to go for a Freeze. We're looking for Freeze here. They're both physical attackers, so, like, Snarl wouldn't do anything. And if we kind of just, like, waste out these Trick Room turns, we could be thriving here. Could definitely be thriving. I don't know why Solgaleo is looking a little looking a little scary. So we'll guard this. Hopefully he's going into me with a shot here. Snorlax is going to yawn. How dare you do that to me? And then his Solgaleo is going to go. And hopefully he's going to take out or go after mine. Yep. Quakes. We block it. Beautiful block. Ice Beam's going to come across. And we're going to get the freeze here. Give me the freeze. Put this thing in a cube. God dang it. I cannot put that thing into a cube. That's all I want. That's all I want. So he yawned me. How dare you? And how many turns left in Trick Room? Wow, look at those stats. Those are some gorgeous stats. Three turns left in Trick Room. Two lovely turns left in Trick Room. And I mean, if we can get off an EQ, I'll go for it. And from here, I don't even know. Maybe look for another freeze. <laughs> Maybe just look for another freeze. Let's see how this goes. He's going to go for Dark Slayer. He's going to take me out. And he's probably going to pick up a double kill, which kind of stinks for me. Hopefully he doesn't pick up the double kill. If we can soak up the shot, this could be big for us. But I don't know if we're going to be able to. He's going to go for a Mindstorm. Yeah, just no shot. We soak up that Mindstorm, right? Oh, we do. That's so big. That is so big. That is so big. Because now his Dynamax is over. I can protect my Grout on here. And then I can bring out... Uh, waste out the Trick Room turns. And then bring out Venusaur. That's looking mighty fine. It's looking mighty fine. And we finally get the Freeze! <laughs> we finally get the Freeze! We love it! We finally get the Freeze! We finally get the Freeze! <laughs> But we go to sleep. We finally get that freeze, which is enormous. At this point, I could bring out you, but I'm going to bring out you. We finally get the freeze. I don't think he dropped a steel spike, did he? No, he dropped quakes. He dropped two quakes and a mindstorm, so he has no defensive boost. 
Route's gonna come out here and we finally get that freeze. I've been looking for it. <laughs> I think that was third time was the charm. I was sitting there and he might thaw out here, which is kind of scary. Do I protect still? Ah, oh, dude, do I protect? I might have to protect because I have to waste out these trickles. It'd be a lot better for us. I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna protect the bite safe. Or I can sword stay. I'm going for a sword dance. I'm just gonna keep chipping damage on so good. Do not fall out. He's gonna yawn me. That's fine. He's going to yawn me indeed. Hate this game. Knew I should have protected. I knew I should have protected. Does heat does heat make him fall out quicker or was that just all RNG? Or was that all RNG? I knew I should have protected. I was just like, yo, I was just like, let me sword dance here. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna go for a nice lovely swords dance, but let's bring out Venus right here at this point. What do I do? I put the soul to sleep he Might yawn me. I don't like that. I think I put the soul to sleep. I think we tell him night night Put him to sleep and then start chipping up on him. That's that is annoying Go here and then uh I Might start chipping on this Snorlax here God dang man God dang dude. I might be trying to pop a trick him again. Sleep out is gonna come out here and we connect it. Thing just thawed out. Freeze was for nothing. Freeze was for nothing. But we finally put this Pokemon to sleep. And Sweet Coon's gonna wake up, which is gorgeous. And maybe we get a freeze on you. Let me freeze you, little buddy. We get a freeze on you. No freeze. He's gonna yawn onto my Venusaur. So he yawns onto my Venusaur slot. Um What do I do? What do I do? Start snarling? I guess maybe. So go has gotta go. He's gotta go. So I'm gonna go to sleep here. No good. That's no good. Uh, what would do more damage? Weather Ball or Earth Power? I think Earth Power would. And we get a chance to drop special attack. So I'm just gonna go Earth Power. I'm just gonna go for Snarls. Just for some Snarls. Ah, dang. This battle's gonna be close. He's gonna protect the Snarlax. That's fine. He's liking the Yawns. He's liking the Yawns. Earth Power's gonna come through here. Give me that special defense drop. That could be that could be nice for us. Earth Power pokes through here. Chipping up some damage. This thing is really good. Cool. And keep that Soul Gallery asleep. Snarls can come out here. Gonna get blocked, and then we're gonna chip up some damage on the Solgaleo. Chipping up some damage. Chipping up. And my boy's going to sleep. Which is a little tough. So we need a quick nap for my Venus. Right now. Need a quick nap, but yo, I totally should protect my what's called. If I would have protected my boy. What is it? Uh my Groudon? We would definitely win this battle super easily. But of course I'm gonna go for another Earth Power. I guess I'll go for another Snarl, but he's just gonna yawn me. How dare you yawn me? Hopefully he's asleep for another turn, and then we get quick naps. Venus are slumped. Please be asleep, Sir Gallo. Please be asleep. Snarl's gonna come out here. Yeah, oh, send it. Give me crit. Give me something. Shipping up some damage here. Be asleep, Sir Gallo. Be asleep. I need you to sleep. Let's go. That's a big turn. That's a big turn. Because Venusaur has a chance of waking up next year. He's gonna go for a double edge. Oh, dang. Oh, he's gonna take some recoil damage. And we eat. We eat. Love it. Little double edge. Leftovers coming in here. We're able to soak up some damage. We are defense boosted on Sweeping. Our defense boosted. So, Terrain's gonna be gone. Venusaur, if you can wake up here, you'd be my best friend ever. You'd be my best friend ever. We go for another freeze. I don't wanna go for another freeze. <laughs> Actually, I can't freeze him. He's uh, he's asleep, so Snarl's our best bet. Wake up, Venusaur. Wake up, Venusaur. Quick naps. No! No! We need the quick naps from me. Snarl's gonna poke here. I think uh, Sogeo's only been asleep two turns, right? Or does it wake up here? It might wake up here. It's kinda looking scary. I woke up. Go after Suicune. He goes for Psychic Fangs. We're dead. Ouch. Later, Venusaur. That's tough. That one hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. He's going to end up yawning. That's going to be GG's. Because he can just protect it. Pretty much just go from there. Our sunlight does fade off. I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset. Weather Ball actually might have done more damage. Change just a fire, right? Does it get that fire boost too? Maybe would have did more damage. Let's see. Probably not. Uh, I guess I'll stay in. Maybe we'll look for a little crit here. Maybe we'll look for some crits. Try to deal some damage on the Soul Gallery. He is special defense boosted. The Snarl's gonna come out here. Oh, uh, send it. Give me crit. No crit. I mean, that's pretty much GG's, right? The special attack is dropped, but, you know, these guys are physical attackers. He's gonna second fang me, and that's gonna be GG. So, long drawn out battle for battle number two. We definitely could have won it if I would have went with my gut play and just protect it and waste out Trick Room. But I went for a risky play. He thawed out instantly, and it was GG's.
We're hopping into our final battle, and I was just looking it up. Harsh Sunlight does increase the chance of Pokemon being thawed out, but it's not instantly. So he still could have been frozen there. We just lost the RNG battle that one, but it's all good. We're hopping into our third and final battle, looking for a winning record. We are 1-1, one and, one, and we're going up against a really cool team, a Sand Rush Draco Soul team with my boy Tyrantar, one of my favorite Pokemon. And then he also has Kartana, Kyogre, which we're going to have to win that Weather War. And then he's got the Yvelta and the Sableye. Sableye is really cool. Sableye definitely is really cool, but I think from here we could go Thunderous. Thunderous is not bad because we can leer and get some defense drops and kind of just roll the ground on. It's not too shabby. That is not too shabby. I don't mind that because then we do have Eerie Impulse. On I could go Venusaur. What do I want to do? I kind of do like just the like defense drops here. Or we could go leer into Sogalia and just start uh, boosting our stats. I kind of like as well. Let's go Thunderous, Sogalia, Groudon, and Venus. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. So we're going to give Thunderous a little bit of love in here in battle number three. And not use that same exact team that we used in the first two battles. But yeah, we definitely should have won that last battle. If I would have protected it, it would have been super simple. Because at that point, that, that, it would have just been a smart play. Because if I protect there, Trick Remains, and then I could just bleed out. Bleed. One blade hits that Solgaleo. He's getting hit hard. He's getting hit hard. But he's going to end up going into T-Tar alongside with... Him. We have two Pokemon that could actually... Uh, I can actually do some work. Or that can actually do some weather. Who's gonna go into the sandstorm? We'll lose our sash. At this point, I could just straight up leer. I could leer you. I think I'm gonna do it. Actually, he's dark. He's dark. So, uh, what do I do? Just straight up Thunderbolt here? Dynamax get this defense boost? Would defense boost be better? I feel like it would. So, and then just stab. So, I'm just gonna do that. You might Dynamax a T Tar. That was looking a little scary. Might drop a Rock Slizzle as well. I'm not a fan of the Rock Slizzle, man. I'm not a fan. But yeah, Prankster is not gonna work here. He's some dark Pokemon out on the field, so I'm not even gonna not even gonna not even gonna test the waters here. Not even gonna test the waters. We're just gonna drop a straight Thunderbolt into that save line. Maybe look to get a paralyzed and chip up some damage on them. But uh yeah. Dynamax Solgaleo. Let's get buzzing. Let's see what he's gonna do from here. Solgaleo. Such a cool Pokemon. And it's shiny is phenomenal. Like look at that. All red. All red, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's gonna oh my god. That one hurts the soul. Someone proc my policy. Someone proc my policy. Someone proc my policy. I need it. Thunderbolt's coming out here. Give me a paralyze. Yes, thank you. A little bit of help there. Nice little RNG there. Steel Spike's fine through. We are going to get a nice little defense boost. How much damage are we going to do through this burn? Ouch. Burn's definitely helping him out. Can you proc my policy? Do something to proc my policy. Proc it, please. Proc it. I need it because I'm burned. Proc my policy. He's going to eat up on a little citrus berry. Munch down on a little snack. But, um, uh, what do we do from here? Just Thunderbolt again into the save line? Probably your best bet. We go for a Stealth Rocks. He's gonna set up a Rocks. The Rocks is gonna be out and about. I mean, I'm not upset at that. Not too mad. Buffett's gonna fly through here. Save line and Thunder's gonna get chipped up. And I think a Thunderbolt is gonna come close to taking that thing out. Same thing with a, uh, another Steel Spike here. This Steel Spike's gonna be kind of close to take out this T-Dark. That could be a nice big KO for us, because then we go up on the defense board, and then we can bring out our weather squad as back in Pokemon. So he's going to end up protecting. That's fine. We're going to grant a nice little defense boost. What's Sableye going for? Sableye's kind of scaring me. Not going to lie here. He's going to Willow Wisp me. So he's going to burn me. I'm a special attacker, so I'm not worried about that. He's just looking to get some nice chip damage off, which is exactly what he's doing. So Sableye definitely goes down here, right? Thunderbolt and the buff that should be able to take him out. And then T-Tar over here is just going to be able to circle shot. But Thunderbolt, bring it down to like one, and then the buff is just going to take it out. Another Steel Spike's gonna fly, hit through Protect. We're gonna get this Defense Boost and he's gonna be able to soak. And I think we just Steel Spike again. Or I can get a Special Defense Boost. I don't know what I should do. I do not know what I should do. But hopefully he brings out somebody I can uh, Prankster up with. Like a Special Attacker that I can just start Eerie Impulsing. Or I could Leer it and uh, Defense Drop it just so my Soul Gale can get off some nice damage. Like that. But again, it really depends if he throws out. It does really depend. It depends. Let's see if he's gonna throw out. So this is gonna be a third Pokemon. He is gonna throw out you about there. Get another dark type, dude. Another dark type. I can't do anything. He's gonna Dynamax that Pokemon 100 percent 100 percent he's gonna Dynamax that Pokemon. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt and you know look for a parallel. <laughs> it's like I cannot do anything. And then we're just gonna quake over here. Probably not pick up the KO, but more importantly, get that special defense boost, which is gonna be huge up against a special attacker like you Wow, dude. Bunch of dark guys. This is, a mono, this is not a mono dark team. He just decided to bring it out so my prankster wouldn't work. I cannot use any of my moves on it. So I'm just thunderbolting. Hopefully we get the paralyze. Paralyze would be gorgeous on this thing. 
because I do believe it is going to uh, Dynamax, right? It's definitely going to Dynamax, yeah. So it Dynamaxes, and we're going to get Buzzy. Actually, what's called is scary. He might be able to take out my Solgaleo one shot. Can he? Can this thing take out my Solgaleo one shot? It might be able to with the Dark Aurora out on the field. It's kind of close. That is kind of close. But if it doesn't, we get a Policy Brock. We can chip up some damage. And we can start chipping up some damage. The Thunderbolts can come out here first. Give me a Paralyze. Oh, that's some nice damage. Give me the Para. Give it to me. Oh, of course this thing's weak. This policy. Of course this thing's weak. This policy. So, so Galio is 100% dead. And he's just going. Oh, no. He's going to go into an Airstream. So, he Airstreams up. And that's going to take out Thunder's all day. Even though it's not very effective. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That one hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. Definitely hurts the soul. That one hurts soul. Assurance can come through here. And that proc policy. Okay, cool. So we get to be able to take out uh We get to be able to take out Tyranitar here and we get our attack stat decently back. You know, Burn was Burn was doing his dirty, but now we got our policy proc. So we say bye bye to T Star all day. We'll grant a special defense boost and we'll get going from there. But uh I gotta go in the Venusaur here, right? I gotta go in the Venusaur. Just in case he wants to go into Kyogre, and then we can hard swap and kind of roll from there. That's probably our best bet, right? Right, that would be our best bet. Or do we just hope that uh, Groudon is slower? I think Groudon would be slower than Kyogre. Let me see your speed. Let me see your speed, buddy. He's forced to throw out. Yeah, you should be slower than Kyogre. So, you know, I'm just going to go straight into you now. I'm gonna go straight into you now. Hopefully, he throws out Kyogre. It, or not Kyogre would be nice, but if he throws out Kyogre, we should be fine. Should be fine. Range come out here first. And now he's going to go into Cartana. Cartana's going to be his final Pokemon. So he doesn't even bring... He doesn't even bring Kyogre out on the field. Or into the battle. I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. I don't mind it. My Dynamax is over. Which is a little tough. It's definitely a little tough. He does have some speed rolling here. And, uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Could protect here. Because we know, like, the Leap Blade's flying through here. I think Protect is going to be my play. Let me try to pop a Trick Room. I get off a of trick room, that could be big news. That could be big news if we can get off this trick room. Not really for my Venus. I don't know. How would that play out? How would that be for us? But I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for a trick room all day. I'm protecting my ground because I, I think a leaf blade's gonna fly through here onto him, right? He leaf blade to me. What's he going for? He's going for an airstream here into my ground on ground's gonna be able to soak. And yes, can we get off this trick room? If we can get off this trick room, that could be big news for us. Give me this trick room. Give me this trigger. He's boosting his speed up. He's boosting his speed up. Cartana's gonna go for a Sacred Sword and he's doubling down in the ground on. Beautiful. We get off this Trick Room now. Let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. So Trick Room coming out late in the game. Trick Room coming out late in the game. I wish we had a fire move to just absolutely dump on Cartana, but we don't. So at this point, I think I just drop a rock slide. Try to look for a flinch. And then just go into like a steel spike. You? Yeah, double down into this Pokemon. I'm with it. I'm with it. Double down the belts here. Rock Slide coming in hot, chipping up some damage. Give me the flinch on the Cartana. Give me the flinch on the Cartana. That's all I'm asking for. Sunseal Strike flying here as well. And oh, <laughs> we almost pick up the KO. We do get the flinch on the Cartana, though. That's huge news for us. That's huge news for us. He's going to take out Solgaleo. And now I can legit roll into a Rock Slide, take out that Yabelta, and then bring out my Venus Rider with a Weather Ball. Oh, we get Weather Ball, too. We get some Weather Ball. We get some Weather Ball, actually, which is huge news. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Trick Room coming in hot. Doing us really, really well. So Venus is gonna come out for us. Um, yeah, I just gotta go for another rock side. Ground's gonna be slowest on the field, which is huge. I mean, he could be rocking Sucker Punch, but hey, Sucker Punch is not gonna take us out. Both my Pokemon are pretty high on HP. I still have my Citrus Berry as well, so rock side to play, and then we just weather ball down onto this Cartana because it will be four times super effective. Come on, baby, give me the win. Give me the win. So Galio clutching up, even with a burn turn one, doing some big damage onto the T-Tar, kind of rocking out from there. We got that weakness policy proc, so he was actually like back to normal kind of attacking. And then we just rolled from there. But he's going to end up protecting, are you double protecting? That's the real question. Rock side's coming out. Block. Maybe we get another flinch chance here. Send it this way. I don't think his Cartana can really take out any of my Pokemon, except for Groudon maybe, right? But I think we should be fine from there. Actually, Venusaur is slower. Thank you, speed boost. Weather ball comes in hot. No shot, Cartana's eating us up. Four times super effective. Get him on out my game. And that's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. Hey, 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 hey.
hey, hey, let's go. Let's go. Winning, a winning record for you guys. Beautiful winning record for you guys. We're just going to get rolling this. You know what? I'm just going to rub it in his face by going for it. Actually, I'd rather go for 100 accuracy. Move. I don't want to risk it. I was going to go for a leaf storm, but it's only 90 accuracy. Battle was canceled. There it is. 2 and 1 for today's video. My boy Clover Bells, shout out to you for dropping me an absolute banger of a team. Absolutely loved it. We went 2 and 1 for today's video and got to show off the team pretty much to its fullest potential. The Sogaleo and Groudon definitely carry the squad, but the Suicune, Thunders, and Incineroar are nice little back-end support Pokemon that work perfectly with this squad. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.